Hi folk, well, folks, welcome back to the Amazing Education Channel. This is about how to not get your car stolen. So what you need is the club. Here's the club. And uh, it fits over your steering wheel. And so imagine that you want to go swimming. And with today's modern keys, you know, you really cannot take... Uh, look at that. You can't take these keys swimming you can't get that wet no you really cannot and um, so what are you gonna do oh by the way like thumbs up and subscribe these videos are it's more about listening to it's not the video quality is not that amazing so it's not really that much for watching um, but it provides you with information that's truly gonna benefit you have you have a happier, longer life, hopefully, uh, more peaceful and um, financially well off, but this is not financial advice because I'm not a financial advisor. So it's only financial education for education purposes only and some entertainment, hopefully. As I said, it's not about the video, it's more to listen to. So now, um, as I said, you wanna go swimming, then what you need is a quick disconnect so that you can remove just the keys uh, let me show you okay here so something like this it's a little clip and you can use that to disconnect just metal keys from your other keys and then get just a metal key to get into your car and don't take the other one with you and then why do you need a steering wheel lock it's because the key that will start your car is hidden somewhere probably hiding well hopefully if you're with a friend or family member uh, you can keep it with them if they don't go swimming but you might need to hide it inside the vehicle unfortunately and then if somebody breaks into your car which it would happen in uh, say um, ocean zones an ocean zone similar to this why? Because a lot of people um, would go to the beach and um, there are thieves, nasty people, who really should stop making the world more expensive and requiring everybody to have insurance. They really should. And hopefully they will learn and we will um, have greater over oversight in the future uh, with cellular technology, cell phone technology to keep track and provide video continuously of criminals who have been previously convicted so they stop stealing vehicles and stop breaking in and stealing things out of cars and trucks and boats and airplanes. Yes, that would be wonderful. Just wonderful. But since we don't have that yet, um, yeah, you might need to bring along a friend and you can't even leave something at the beach. Like, notice I said, hide your key with a friend. So, don't leave belongings anywhere outdoors when you go swimming. So, this is all about, you know, how to protect your property when you're swimming. So, you can hide it in your vehicle and if you have a visible steering wheel lock, then thieves may look and see oh here's a vehicle it has a steering wheel lock and i don't see anything valuable inside because it's all hidden as i said hide it and um, especially bags even empty grocery store or shopping bags people will break into a car just because they see a bag that's right because how would they know if there's anything inside it they have no idea and they see a, a bag and uh, or a purse of course or something like that and then if they're a mean nasty thief that doesn't care that they're raising the prices of everything on the planet by committing their crimes and therefore making um, things expensive and destroying the ideal life that we could have on this planet <laughs> these thieves will break in and steal an empty bag and or just not steal it and um, and then you have to replace a window or you know whatever other items maybe they do steal and uh, 
This includes for you uh, people with dash cams. That's something that's often stolen because they're easily removable from a car. They're small, easy to hide. If somebody steals it, they can quickly just stick it somewhere and it's hidden so nobody can catch them, usually, perhaps. And then you've lost your dash camera. And uh, so, as I said, you uh, really need to hide these things at all times. So it's unfortunate that, you know, you pretty much have to make your car look like it doesn't have a dash camera. And how do you do that? Well, you have to remove the charger. You have to remove any mount that holds it in place or have your car in a garage where nobody can see it. So, you know, you don't have to remove the, the charger every time if it's locked in a garage. But if it's a public garage, well, you better hide it because people that are desperate for money uh, also don't have good um, sense. And if it's visible, even if it's in a place that has video cameras, they could still smash your window, go to jail, but you have to replace broken and stolen items. And it's unfortunate. So keep that in mind. And um, so pretty much when you go to the beach, go swimming or go say hiking or someplace, uh, you know, you really need to have a vehicle that doesn't look appealing, doesn't look like it has anything in it. And it's even better if it doesn't have anything in it besides just looking like it has nothing in it. And uh, some people go so, uh, so far as to leaving the windows down. <laughs> like, there's hardly anything in this vehicle. Don't smash my windows. I'm gonna leave the windows down. And, uh, you know, uh, how's that possible? People think, you know, someone could steal the vehicle. Well, these days, it's not an old, old fashioned wise thing to do, but with modern vehicles, unless they have the uh, transponder chip that would start the engine, they can try to start the car, but the uh, computer will not work. And so, you know, they could try to start the car all they want, but without the key, they will go nowhere. And so pretty much all they could do is, you know, get in your car, fool around with it and uh, play, you know, put trash in it or whatever. I guess, I mean, they could steal the seats and start stealing parts, but um, most people that are trying to steal things out of cars would want to do it quickly and not carry around heavy seats. They're going to want to steal small items. And so just don't provide any of those small items. And yeah, believe it or not, some people leave the windows down just to uh, avoid having their windows smashed. And uh, if you don't park properly, people might smash your window, believe it or not. Um, if you park somewhere and leave your vehicle for a while, you can get a notice put on the vehicle that it's an abandoned vehicle. And I say a while, maybe as short as one or two days, if you've done a bad job of parking, because maybe your car is sticking out a little bit and um, some locations within 24 hours, if the car hasn't moved, it's posted as abandoned. So keep that in mind. All right, so anyway, I'm just trying to um, prevent you from having losses and um, also how to go swimming and enjoy yourself, get exercise and be healthy. So keep all these things in mind because it's no fun. I've had my vehicle broken into uh, several times um, because uh, I went swimming and left keys and they weren't really well hidden, but they were locked, locked inside. But I think someone was observing me. That's right, they were looking, watching me, put my wallet and keys in the car. And I kept the keys to the car, but the other keys were stolen and I lost my wallet 
which includes, you know, whatever you keep in your wallet. Then you need to cancel the credit cards and and uh, driver's license and so on. And to add more trouble, because of your address being on in your wallet, in your driver's license, with your address and your house keys, then you need to change the locks on your house almost immediately because they can easily go to your home, they have the keys, they can get into your house and take whatever they want, which is one reason why they, they do it. And of course it's illegal, yes, of course, I'm not saying they should take whatever they want, I'm saying they can, it's physically easy for them to do so. So you need to change your locks immediately, just do it. And uh, it's one reason why I guess you need to never have it be easily observed where you're hiding the keys. And uh, if it's possible, you really need to bring them with you, even when you're swimming. And just the key, key or two that can't get wet, well, maybe you can figure out a way to keep it dry underwater. That would be wonderful. Uh, if you could do that with some kind of special uh, like a surfing pouch or water protector that they do sell at surfing stores so that might help you out and avoid the problems okay good luck good luck